Hey everybody, it's Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Today's video is going to be a Bath & Body Works Candle Day haul. I did go in store for Candle Day and I purchased a few candles. I didn't go all out or hit the maximum, which is like 17 or 18, but I still got quite a few. So I figured I would show you guys the ones that I picked out and describe the scents to you. And I love Candle Day so much. Ever since I found out about it a few years ago, I have not missed a Candle Day and I always include it in Vlogmas which of course I had to do it this year as well. So they gave me this reusable bag that has a bunch of candles in it. It's super heavy. Um, I got some new ones that I've never seen before or smelled before and then I also got a few classics. Also, I got this sweatshirt sent to my P.O. box. It says stay cozy. Super cute. It's really comfy too. I don't wear red a whole lot, but around the holiday season I will. So yeah, I love this sweatshirt. It's so cozy. So thank you so much for sending this to my P.O. box. Um, but anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So I went in store. Also, my upstairs neighbors are being really loud right now and I'm in my living room, which is like the louder part of the apartments so i'm sorry if you guys can hear it at any point throughout this video um but i went to the bath and body Works store at the st john's town center i went with my friend Kristen, and um we got some goodies so i did have a coupon i had a ten dollar off coupon also if you didn't know candle day is the best candle prices of the year so that's the cheapest you're gonna get bath and body works candles i'm not too sure about like outlets and stuff but as far as like the actual store and like current scents and stuff like that candle day is the cheapest i know sometimes they'll do buy three get three free but bath and body works candles are 25 50 now which is insane i think this year on candle day they were like 10 something so uh they go up a little bit each year last year i'm pretty sure they were nine something um but it's still better than like the buy three get free three free deal because that's 50 percent off and 50% off would be like 12 to 13 dollars so candle day is the best prices and the store was busy there was a lot of people there a lot of candles still we went around like 10 something in the morning 10 or 11 we planned on going super super early but it just got too late and we had to drive to orlando and it was just a whole thing so we just decided to sleep in a little bit go around 10 or 11 i don't even remember and there wasn't a line to get in or anything but um they were like you know candles were being put on the shelf as fast as they were leaving the shelves it was pretty crazy um so yeah anyway <laughs> i'll get into the candles that i picked up so this first one is called winter cabin i'm gonna try to do close-ups for you guys so here is winter cabin this one smells so good oh i love it so much it's winter air black pepper warm amber and cedar it reminds me of like kind of like a cologne scent but it's not too overpowering some of their candles are super super strong like mahogany teakwood for example is kind of like that abercrombie and fitch scent and it's super super strong this kind of reminds me of that except like taken down a few notches i obviously haven't smelled any of these burning yet sometimes they smell different but this smells so good and i honestly regret not buying more of these uh because the jar is so cute it's a really pretty kind of like gray taupey color and the scent is incredible jarvis loved this scent i love it it's great so that's the first one that i got next we got iced vanilla woods which again i wish i got more of these this smells incredible oh it's like it definitely has the vanilla scent to it but it also smells kind of like cologne um this is described as iced lavender which i don't really smell lavender too much if i do it's very very subtle um sweet vanilla and ebony wood so again it's kind of sweet it's definitely not overpowering i know some people hate sweet scents this isn't like sickly sweet or anything um but that like ebony woods definitely kind of like 
makes the scent a little bit more mature in my opinion um blue isn't particularly my favorite but i still think it's really cute and the scent was worth it like oh the scent is so freaking good um i actually saw that in a recommendations video for like the sale so that's like what caught my attention so i had that one in mind going into the sale then i also had another one which i will talk about in a second um but i love both of those so much so far and i was worried that when i got home and smelled them again that they were gonna be like not as good because you know when you're smelling like a bunch of candles and you're like at a store sometimes you get home and you smell it and it's like this smells completely different but for the most part i like re-smelled them all last night and they all smell great um so next we have holiday oh i didn't give you a close-up of iced vanilla woods so here is what iced vanilla woods looks like super really it's so pretty like i love the label and everything i just wish it was a different color but it makes sense because it's like iced vanilla woods <laughs> um but anyway next i got a holiday which is a scent that i've had in the past this one is described as red cinnamon stick christmas clove buds and ground nutmeg so super spicy definitely smells very spicy i smell the cinnamon first then probably like the nutmeg and then i have like the co clove scent as like kind of like an aftermath type thing as far as like smelling it from the jar oh, it smells so freaking good i love like cinnamon and just like holiday scents in general um but if you didn't know um on the bottom of the three wick candles they have like descriptions of each scent i'm not particularly good at just like coming up with it in my head <laughs> so i am happy that the description is here on the back because it's helpful to know like what types of scents you like so if you tend to like cedar scents or amber or sandalwood or whatever super helpful um next i got the perfect christmas this is another one that i bought because i saw it in a recommendations video this one is fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow so this is like a bunch of different christmasy scents into one candle i think the jar is so cute and it smells so good i definitely smell the vanilla and marshmallow in there but at the same time it kind of smells like christmas trees so it's like a sweeter more subtle take on say like fresh balsam which is like just christmas tree in your face this is just like a little bit sweeter a little bit more toned down and i love the vanilla like toasted marshmallow type scents but i also do love like fresh cut pine um so yeah this one is great i really like the way that it smells it's not like a super sickly sweet scent either like a lot of their like dessert like bakery type scents are like a little bit much for me but this one definitely um isn't like that and i think it is because of the fresh cut pine notes in the candle so those are the first four that i got i got 10 total um i would have gotten more honestly but like i couldn't carry anymore <laughs> they were getting so heavy and the bag that they gave me was like not this bag so it, these weren't fitting in the bag that they gave me so i was like i can't carry anything else so i'm cutting myself off uh so yeah <laughs> moving on we've got champagne toast which i bought this one for the background of my videos i have candles burning in every single video that i film in my like regular setup and i usually go for like pink or like peachy colored candles because that's just like what matches my personal aesthetic the best and i love champagne toast such a classic scent this is one that i have purchased year after year after year it is so yummy and i actually have one that i'm gonna start burning my friend alicia gave it to me it's i think it was i forgot candy gumdrop or something it's pink and it has little stockings on it and it's so cute so that's gonna be my december candle um but once that one's gone i figured this one would be super cute for like post christmas like new year's type situation since it's champagne toast i mean i would burn this all year long but um the champagne just kind of reminds me of new year's eve uh so yeah this one has bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine Mm, I definitely smell the berries definitely smell the tangerine. I love the scent. It's very fruity 
um, and way different from everything that I've shown you so far. Uh, but I love this scent so much. It smells so freaking good. Next, I picked up Marshmallow Fireside. This is another classic. I've only had this one a few times though, actually, and I loved the jar that it came in this year. I mean, I know they have different variations of a lot of their scents, but I really liked this design. Um, it's just super cute and neutral and gray, kind of has like a light bluish tone to it. But this one, oh, it's so good. It literally smells like a, like roasted or toasted, toasted, toasted marshmallow. <laughs> Um, like if you were to like put a marshmallow in a fire and then smell it, it's exactly what this smells like. So this is described as toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. Oh, and crystallized amber. That's fancy. But yeah, this is just a super yummy candle. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It has a little bit of a smokiness to it. And you really can smell the marshmallow in here, which I love because I like the warm like vanilla and like marshmallowy sweet like creamy scents i'm i, I just am a fan of them personally um so yeah <laughs> next i picked up a mahogany teakwood because jarvis loves this scent i love the scent it reminds me of like middle school <laughs> and high school because that's when this candle was like so 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 popular because it smelled like abercrombie and fitch and it's crazy to me that Abercrombie is like popular again. Um, not that it's like crazy, but it's just weird because of how popular that was for me when I was in middle school. Like everybody wore Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch and those stores always smelled so strongly of cologne. They were always like super dark. They had like the models out front for you to like take pictures with. I feel like it's a totally different vibe now. Um, because also I was in middle school, so I was like 10, 11, 12 <laughs> when like Abercrombie was popular, but now it's like popular again, but for like even people my age. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a throwback scent for me, but it smells delicious. We actually have mahogany balsam burning. I got that one last year and I wish that I saw it this year, but I didn't see it at my store. I don't know if they didn't have it this year, but it smells so so freaking good. So that's what I'm burning in the kitchen right now. Um, and once that one's gone, I'm not gonna have it anymore. Uh, but I did get mahogany teakwood, which is just a super intense like cologne scent. This is rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. I know they've even had like mahogany teakwood intense candles in the past and they're like, this is already pretty intense, but they get even more intense. So this is just like a dark gray jar and i thought it was cute and we like mahogany teak wood over here but definitely i could see it being too strong for some people though next we got spiced apple toddy this one is really yummy i'm not like huge on apple scents but if it's like apple cider or like spiced apple toddy scent i love it but sometimes apple scents can be weird to me but like this one is so good it literally smells like fresh hot apple cider the scents are warm apple brandy spiced plum tart cranberry and cinnamon stick i would just describe it as hot apple cider like it smells so yummy i just want to drink it i love apple cider when it's cold out like it's perfect here is what this jar looks like i'm pretty sure i got some of these last year but um i picked up one this year i didn't get any doubles of scents this year actually so um yeah this is a great candle i would highly recommend it it's really really yummy and then my last two candles are classics that i purchase every single year first up we have winter which looks like this it's a really pretty jar i like the gray and kind of gold um this one is fantastic this is what we have in our bathroom i think Ugh, it's just so good it's such a good wintry scent i feel like this is a classic that everybody loves like this is a cult favorite right here this one is described as white woods pine needles sparkling clementine and spiced clove definitely has the clove in there definitely smell the pine but it does have that tangerine in there which sounds weird like that sounds like a weird combination but it really works with this candle in my opinion 
Um, so this one is great. I would recommend that one. I guess like I'm recommending these candles for next year, <laughs> next candle day, or if you guys just want to buy them like now, um, <laughs> that's cool too. And then the last candle that I picked up is fresh balsam, which I love the smell of Christmas trees. I love the pine, the balsam scent. We, oh, I didn't think it was that close to me. <laughs> I just smacked the Christmas tree. We have a real Christmas tree. I love real Christmas trees. I've always had real Christmas trees and I just think they smell so good. Um, so yeah, this is our Christmas tree. We already have some presents underneath it all nice and wrapped up. Um, but this one smells so good. Oh, it smells like a Christmas tree farm. Not that I've ever been to one, but, but that's what I imagine it smells like. It smells like the Lowe's Christmas tree tent that I can definitely say I have been to that and this smells like it. Um, so in here we've got woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. Very like woody pine, eucalyptus-y, very... Christmas tree in a candle. It's delicious and I really like the light green color. I don't have a ton of green in my apartment other than like some plants that are honestly like not very doing too good so they're not even that green right now but um, I do like the light green color. I think it's really pretty. So that is everything that I got. Candle day 2021. I'm pretty sure it was two days this year actually in store. I think. Is that how it was? Two days in store and then it was online as well on Friday. I didn't buy anything online. I actually went to check the website. Kristen and I checked it and it was like a 20 plus minute wait just to like queue into the website which is crazy. So yes. That is my candle haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas 2021. I have been enjoying it a lot. It's been fun. I think this is Vlogmas Day 6. So um, I've got to edit and upload this today. <laughs> and then I have to film some more because I'm filming lots of other videos today for upcoming vlogmas videos just to give you guys a heads up we've got a first impressions video like trying a ton of the makeup that i bought during the sephora vib sale we've got um a video trying out the beach waiver i ordered the beach waiver on black friday so we're gonna do a video trying that out and seeing if it's worth the hype i get beach waiver ads all the time on tiktok and instagram so I got that to try and then I'm also filming a life update video which I asked you guys to ask me questions over on Instagram so that I could do like a little Q&A but we do have a lot of things in our lives changing so I wanted to film that for you guys because then we're gonna pretty much dive in to a new little series that is gonna be a sub tier of vlogmas it's gonna take up a big, pretty big chunk and I'm excited for it and I know that you guys are gonna love it too. I just know, I know that you guys are gonna love it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that's a little insight onto what is to come in the next few days of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I know it can be stressful. I definitely have been experiencing a little bit of stress recently, but it's fine. We're all going to be good. The holidays are a time to be happy and spend time with loved ones and just have a good time. So don't stress yourself out over, you know, buying presents and decorating and doing all the, you know, Christmas activities or holiday activities. Just Take it easy, have a good time, finish out the year great. These are, I'm pretty much just telling myself this, <laughs> but maybe someone else can, uh, you know, someone else feels me. <laughs> so anyway, I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.